Yo, what's up everybody? <laughs> so, I get so much criticism for saying Zin Chow in the beginning, but it's like kind of for content. It's, I know it's not what's said here. But anyways, what's up everybody? We are going to look at a apartment right now, a penthouse in District 1. I'm in negotiations with current landlord where I'm, I'm about to initiate. Uh, initiate and while I'm doing that I'm gonna look at other apartments in case that falls through and doesn't work out but this video is gonna be about how easy it is and another real good pro to Vietnam is to get an apartment I mean it is ridiculously easy to get a apartment here um, it's nothing like America. Nothing like, especially if you're in a big city, like shit in California, they do a background check on you. They run a credit check on you. They run a million checks on you. You've got to have darn near perfect credit. If you don't, then they're like, put five months down. I mean, it can cost upwards to five to $7,000 just to get into an apartment in LA and I think it's the same in Japan it's pretty a lofty thing and you even have to have like a note of somebody that is a guarantor if I remember right so here none of that exists you literally find the apartment you want you look at it and you say yeah that's the one I want usually it's one month deposit one year lease there were six month leases too when I first moved here and then as the housing market was at its max most were trying for a year um, now it's back to like six months to a year um, sometimes two months down like my Vin Homes was two months down which, well, which was fine but it's so much easier there's no credit checking there is no um, letter of guarantor uh, letter of recommendation none of that like if you've got the cash to move in they move you in it's pretty awesome and the system they use to find you like you get an agent and she'll she or he'll, he'll just start looking all over for an apartment for you and there was days where I'd look at 20 apartments in a day like if you get a right uh, agent at the uh, Golden River I think she showed me 25 apartments in one day there's so much inventory at Golden River so I should have a pretty strong leg to stand on for negotiations to stay longer for me I'm happy there Winnie really wants to go somewhere cheaper of course she's Vietnamese it's hard for her to pay the $800 a month for rent come in um, which is understandable but, you know, if they agree to keep the rent reduced, that's a really good deal. Like, I mean, it's not really good, but I'm happy there. The only thing I don't like is we can't have our dog. But, you know, the place is great. The amenities are amazing. Like, the thing that sucks about renting, like, from, like, a smaller building is you don't get a pool, you don't get good parking, you don't get a gym. And you gotta go and do that stuff all externally. And it's more of a pain in the ass. Like, I like having that stuff all at the ready. If I wanna go to the pool, I just go down the pool. If I wanna go to the gym, I can just go to the gym. It's a minute instead of, you know, getting on a bike, driving to it, etc. And then the noise, you know, the, the noise isn't even a problem in, uh, in Vinholm, Golden River. So, I sleep comfortably there. I live a great life there. It'll be mighty difficult for me to uh, move out of there. But we're, I'm gonna look. You know, if something pops up that's really affordable and that suits most of our needs, then yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll check it out. I'll try it out. Keep them high and tight. Keep feathering it, brother. Um, but yeah. That's just one of the really good things about Vietnam, like, is 
it's super easy to rent an apartment. Like, it was so stressful in LA when I'd have to like look for a new apartment. And I left at like the climax of rent, literally the climax. Like when I moved in in 2008, maybe 2000, going into 2009 in Venice Beach, you know, my first place, which was pretty great. It was like a block to the beach was like, uh, it was on Pacific, if you know what that is. It was like 1400 bucks. And it was a really great apartment building. I met a lot of cool people there. It was, you know, a good time in my life. It was like a communal apartment. Everybody got along. I mean, I've met lifetime friends there, like my boy Robbie. What's up, brother, if you're watching the videos? Miss you, dude. Really great guy. And, uh, you know, I met, like, she's now a popular <laughs> Instagram influencer. I'm not gonna plug her stuff though because I think it's kind of funny But yeah, I met a lot of good friends for for lifetime friends um, At that apartment and Towards the end when I left Rent was $3,200 Like as I, I changed apartments, of course I Got more more near the beach. This was when my IT business was doing really well there. So like it wasn't a problem it wasn't a big deal. And then IT in America started shifting away from like normal IT and started outsourcing it like to cheap, cheap uh, help desks, like not even come in person, like have the individual set up their own computer at work and then hire some real cheap company to just remotely log in and set up all the software and stuff. So which is a really weird shift. You're never gonna get the quality of work that you would have if you had somebody on site doing it. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do that uh, besides for just saving money. You know, any big company should factor IT as like one of their most needed costs and it should be a great part of what they spend per month. Like, I think, who, who was it that just got ransomware? Oh, uh, what company? I cannot think of it. Capcom, I want to say. I think Capcom just got ransomware. And, you know, I've, I've had companies. To, there's a really easy way to do ransomware. I know we're, we're getting off topic a little bit, but it's okay. But, uh, yeah, ransomware, you can't, there's no way to unlock it without the key. So the only thing you can really do is just wipe everything and restore. So... I've had a large company have, have ransomware and then they threatened to put out the data, but they never put out the data. We just didn't pay it and I wiped all the servers and reset them up from a backup and we were off and running. I mean, granted, this took a long amount of time. But anyways, I digress. Let's get back to the point. It's just super easy to rent an apartment here. You can go on a website like Hoosing and then I have a movie already on how to rent an apartment where I give you a step-by-step -step guide, literally a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how to rent a, an apartment. So that's well worth checking out. I list prices during COVID even of all the different districts. Now rent's down, so like, and I think it'll stay down for a while because a lot of the market for like anything over 500 bucks was driven from Westerners or expats from some foreign country. So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of Vietnamese in uh, Golden River, but not as many as you would like think, because they're not gonna unless they're rich, like Winnie. Winnie like can't can't stand it that we spend that much on rent. But I like try to explain to her. I'm like, we each have our own bathroom, we each have our own bedroom. She's got a bunch of clothes, so it gives her her own bedroom to store all that stuff. We have access to a pool. She doesn't use any of this stuff, which sucks. Like, I occasionally get her to go swimming, but I utilize all that stuff like every day. And it's a big part of me getting in shape. Like, I'm lazy to go to a gym. I'm not gonna lie. Like, when I have to travel to a gym, and then I go to the gym, and there's a bunch of fucking asshats on the machines, like sitting there watching TV, which is very common in Vietnam. It's a very common way. I see it all the time in my gym. I, I go to my gym now when I know no one is going to be there. 
I strategically like know the time now and, and my gym for my building when like nobody's there. So I always go to the gym at that time and I got the whole place to myself. It's awesome. I like an empty gym. Even in America, I liked an empty gym. But these are all things you have to factor in. Like, I think your first six months to a year, you can get like a cheap VA apartment because you're not going to be at home. And especially if you're a guy, if you're a guy my age, you're going to eventually find a girl. It's there's a lot of women here, and they're so much more friendlier than in America. It's so much more easier to get in a relationship here, and. You know, Tinder's insane. If you're on Tinder, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Tinder is bananas here. So, like... But, uh... Let's stick to the point. I don't want to ramble on about other shit. I want to keep it to this. Um, but, yeah, it's just... It's super easy. You, you go to Hoosing. Like, the, the first apartment I got, I went to Hoosing. And I got assigned a guy. And he did a pretty good job. He didn't find as much stuff as I wanted. Like, when he went and found an, an agent for the Golden River that, like, had access to all kinds of shit that was way better. So, yeah. A big pro to moving here is you don't have to worry about your credit score. You don't have to worry about anything. You just... They don't even have a credit system here. It's crazy. You just uh, pick your location, say, that's what I want, and then you negotiate with the owner of the terms, and that's it. All right, guys. So that's the video. I'm not going to make it fluff piece and try to add more into it. I think we covered the topic pretty well. Uh, next, I'll be shooting the penthouse. So you'll see the penthouse video come out after this. And then there'll be a walking video after that. So the schedule is going to be... Well, I don't know the point of even saying that. But you'll see J-Mart, a market in District 4 tonight. And then tonight, my time. And then the next video will be this video. And then the video after that will be the apartment and then a walking video after that. So we've got the next like five, five or six videos pretty much hammered down. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace out.